We'll reach the Great Bridge of Murden soon. Houses Phlegathon and Gloucester are defending it, just as we anticipated. But Ladislava has done her job and broken through the enemy line for us. I intend to claim a swift victory and return her to us whole. If possible, the members of House Gloucester are to be taken alive. As we discussed previously, killing them will jeopardize Her Majesty's ability to rule effectively. If any enemy commanders appear open to persuasion, try to convince them to surrender. Our goal here is not to utterly annihilate our foes. The fewer casualties, the better. That said, anyone who refuses to submit must be struck down without mercy. I know when to catch and when to kill. I am often being faced with such decisions on the hunt. You... you expect me to make that kind of decision in the heat of battle? You just do what you always do, Bernadetta. If it's all right with you, I'd prefer to focus on the diplomacy part. I'm not much for bloodshed. Then you may leave that part to me. I will happily deal with any soldiers you cannot. It should be a simple enough matter to determine which of our enemies wishes to live and which will choose the way of death. We'd better not misjudge anyone, or else our lives will be the ones in danger. Then we should fight first and ask questions later. When in doubt, take them out, am I right? We can sweat the small stuff when the battle's over. Until then, I'll do what I do best. I believe we should all do what we do best. If we do, I feel confident we will emerge on top when the dust settles. Victory is the most important thing, so leave the vanguard to me. Then, if everyone is prepared, let us show them the might of the Empire! They certainly aren't... Here goes. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Here I go. No mistakes. They must learn who they're up against. Right then. Let us go to work. I will see my team. It's Bernie's time to shine! Sure hope this goes home. Starting the mission, is that an order? There's not a question of can, only a matter of will. Leave this one to me. That's my cue. Here I go. 
No mistakes. They must learn who they're up against. There's not a question of can. Leave this to me. Fooling around with these defenses. Count Gloucester must be located on the far bank. Ladislava is holding the central checkpoint. We'll mount our attack from there. The checkpoint is our key to taking the Great Bridge. Without it, we have not even a slim hope of victory. Her Majesty is counting on me, and I will not let her down. They have her surrounded. Time for a rescue! If we rush in heedlessly, we'll be trapped along with her. We must secure the route as we go. Never hurts to have a safe place to retreat to. We'll have these defenses crippled in short order. I guess we'll attack here. It takes a trickster to recognize a trick. The enemy is being suspiciously quiet in the West. As urgent as it is to retake the checkpoint, I believe the West should be dealt with first. those purses and pay the toll. Of all the irritating places to lay an ambush. This They must learn who they're up against. Starting the mission. Is that an order? There is not a question of can. There is not a question of can. Only a matter of will. Leave the- Ben is a mercenary. Perhaps offering a reward will allow us to avoid a fight. their central forces. No, not yet. <laughs> such a trap. We should have sent soldiers west to deal with it. <laughs> Still, that was a brilliant salvo. Our enemy clearly possesses a gifted officer. Gifted? Wait, are you talking about me? <laughs> Looks like you'll be my first real challenge in ages. Now let's dance! Raining down on Ladislava. We have to stop them at the source. I'll protect you. Clear the way. You got it, Edelgard. Take them. I've got you now. Chose to be here, and I'm going to fight the Empire to the end. Not 
Tetsu Champion! <laughs> Someone as strong as you rot in a cell. the others again. My thanks. Mind taking it from here? I guess so, but... I surrender. The arrows have stopped. Let us proceed. Why not? Great achievement. You honor me, Your Majesty. May victory be yours this day. I can still fight. Now we can fight on even footing. Those are my lands at the other end of this bridge, and you lot are not welcome. Even by alliance standards. Let us do them a favor and introduce him to an early grave. Listen up, rogues. You will defend the supplies we stole from the Empire to the death. I can already smell the coin they'll fit me. They have our supplies. Is that I'll smite them before they can make their escape? Savior of the Alliance. Oh, oh. that's a good one. Let me just write that down. <laughs> Can't you idiots see I'm in trouble? Now stop standing about with your jaw slackened and help me already. Stealing is a great evil. 
You will be returning what you took. I should have switched sides, but I had the chance. lands lie ahead, as well as Gloucester's army. So, they've taken the Great Bridge, have they? That makes us the Alliance's last defense. There must be a way to resolve this matter without further bloodshed, Father. Our first priority is to find Gloucester. He was on our side once. He'll surrender. Yeah, all right. There is no telling is where the enemy might be lurking. We have no choice but to seize control of the entire bridge. lands you see beyond me, and I will not suffer one heel of your boots to sully them. Oh, could it hurt? is known for its tenacity. No purpose. So be it. I am no use to my people if I die here. Lawrence, no! Bear witness. Monsters, how dare you hurt my son! I shall never back down! Not yet! Now Gloucester will not concede so easily now that we have damaged his precious heir. <laughs> Not a problem. Move. My turn. 
turn. Bear witness. Is that an order? Not a problem. Move! <clears throat> I will not shame my people by surrendering to you without a fight. Take a breather. Majesty. All of House Gloucester bows to your will. Victory is ours, but this is merely the first step of our rescue. Right you are. We need to relieve our allies who are embattled on Alliance land. This is no time to rest easy. There's a lot more work still to be done. Agreed. We will leave some troops here with the wounded to hold our position. Then take the reconsolidated force north without delay. Sadly, there can be no victory celebration until we have extricated Count Burgleys and the others. Based on our projections, they will run out of provisions at any moment. We can also assume they know we have made it to Gloucester, meaning they will be waiting for us. But each hour they wait is another hour their stomachs remain empty. If we peel away House Gloucester's troops, we can create an opening in the enemy ranks. Once that's done, we'll bring an end to Claude's shady scheme. So, do I smile now, or what? Inconsequential. I won't let myself stop here. Interesting. 
It seems the Empire may not want our heads on pikes after all. That is good news. I was concerned they might be so upset as to seek your execution. But based on their posturing, it seems those fears were groundless. Well, I am an effective lord, if I do say so myself. They must realize taking my life would make it difficult to keep order on my lands. Few lords anywhere in Fodlan are as loved and respected by their people as you, father. Perhaps. But if so, that only makes my misjudgment all the more grave. I never should have let that man cajole me into starting such a needless fight. You say that now because we lost, but would your appraisal not be different in the face of victory? The people would have idolized you for ushering House Gloucester toward even greater prosperity. Questions of what if matter little after you lose a battle, and even less after you have misled your people. The time to judge the right and wrong of things is before, not after. It is for this reason that I have decided to yield command of our house to you. I only pray you might walk us back from the terrible misstep I have made. Besides which, the Empire still views me as a traitor. If I fail to step down now, I will spend the rest of my days wondering when the axe might fall. I... I understand, Father. With all that has happened, it is hard not to see the wisdom in your decision. I will find a way to build a newer, stronger House Gloucester alongside the Empire. And just as it did before, our house will shine brighter than any in Leicester. Your Majesty, Gloucester has yielded his lands and titles to his firstborn son, Lawrence. This new Count Gloucester has expressed a desire to join the Empire. No doubt he wishes to make his loyalty plain by taking a clear stand against House Regan. Well, I see no reason to reject his offer. See that his soldiers are properly integrated. As you wish, Your Majesty. Sometimes I have no idea what goes through your noble heads. How can you possibly trust a house that just plunged a knife into your back? If a merc pulled a stunt like that, they'd either be cast aside or cut down where they stood. I believe it, and I'd like to do the same. But not just anyone can hold Gloucester territory together, and I have no one else to take Lawrence's place. I suppose no one would put up with the aristocracy if it didn't afford some sort of stability. Yes, that is simply the way of things in Fodlan now. But as I've told you, I intend to change this. The age of deciding our rulers by blood must end. A day will come when anyone can vie for the right to rule, and then we will be free of this wretched system. So stand with me. Help me make it so.